today's performance, you know, you can accept getting beat by Liverpool's and Tottenham's and things like that, but Bournemouth at home, you get beat 3-1. Honestly, boy, it's shocking. I don't remember a few weeks ago I came after Arsenal being beat 5 you know, I was moaning about we've got no plan this, that and the other. He's got to go. Listen, it's shocking. Absolutely abysmal. I'll, I'll elaborate a bit more on plan. They get ball, what do they do? Who fit, come straight back to us. Abysmal. The goal's shocking. 2 nil at half-time, right? Don't go and come see you straight after. Yeah. Look what we've done. That's what's happened. Tom. Everyone's leaving. Yep. We're looking to have all the games on here. I'm also we're looking at each game, not just watching one game. And every time I look at the Sheffield United game, Bournemouth are having a shot. Do you know, that, like, Bournemouth had 23 shots today. Sheffield United have averaged 19 shots a game against them. Conceded 34 goals already this season. In the 13 games you played, 247 shots against you. What happens to like it being a fortress? When I was in the Premier League at the start, you go to Sheffield United, Bramall Lane, it's like, oh, it's tough here. Tough, They're going to yeah. make it hard for you. going to make it hard to get um, shots on goal. It's too easy, isn't it? Well, that's what everyone says, coming to Bramall Lane, so fortress is meant to be. But like, like I keep saying, there's nothing to cheer about. We've got a we've got a keeper who's giving ball around edge at box. He's rubbish. Get him gone. Oh yeah, that Same goal. Man, oh. Man, man, manager can follow him and all. Oh. You want Hecken bottom out? Do you think it's time now? Who's going to come in and change it though? If, mm. You know, it, who, it, it who makes time, a big it difference. It was time eight games ago. It was time eight games ago. Mm. Time at half time. Just just get him gone. Wilder, Wilder in. I'm sick. I'm sick to death of people. People saying, "Why would you want Wilder back? Why would you want this, that, and the other? Why not?" Best manager in years. He will come and change it at, at least a little bit. But you must look at it, Tom, and think, you know what? Like. Look look at Luton today. You know, they grind the result out at home. You know, they're not at their best, but they get a result. Sheffield United exactly. just don't like they're going to do that. Exactly. exactly. This, is, this is my point. We, we come uh, and we just don't play. We don't play. We don't pass for you. And it just comes back to us. You should have seen it first half. You should have seen it first half. They just, they just camped in our half. We can't get out. It's Bournemouth at home. These are the mm. games you want to be getting three points yes. from. Or at least getting something. But no. 3-0. Everyone's walking out. No point. Was you at the game, Tom? Yeah, of course I was, yeah. What's the atmosphere like with the fans? Are they getting a bit fed up now mm, or are they question. staying with the team? I think, yeah, I do. I mean, when I come out a few weeks ago, I think, I don't know about, the jury was a bit out about uh, Ekin, but I'm, like, no one's sure. But now, I think everyone's staring at me a little bit. I do feel a bit sorry for him. But what you've got to remember is it's all right to, to just hold your hands up and go, right, he's done a good job. But you still but stop knowing that people don't want him out. He, mm. he needs to go. He needs to go. And I'm sick of saying it. But get him gone and get Wilder in, please, now. 